Hey sunshines, it's your Slay at Home Mom, Sophie Chanel, and I am back with another video. And of course, it's Vlogmas. Yes, you guys. So you know that I've said previously, if you've been watching my Vlogmas videos, that I'm trying to work on being consistent and also stepping outside of the box of just normal wig slash hair reviews. So today I'm going into something a little bit different. This particular series is called Stash or Trash. Yes, and this is going to be the skincare version of it. So Stash or Trash pretty much is stash is something that we are loving, something that we will keep. We're stashing it away, keeping it for ourselves, and also buying more of it. Trash is pretty obvious. Things that we're just not that thrilled by, we're going to go ahead and trash it. So today, like I said, is skincare. So what I did was went through my bathroom cabinets and got all of the products. I didn't get all. I got most of the products um, that we're going to see if we're going to stash or trash today. And this is also a way for me to help declutter, get rid of some of these things that I've had in my cabinets for a really long time. A lot of these things at this point are expired, but I knew that I wanted to do this video. So I've literally just been holding on to them for the sake of doing the video. Um, so thank you guys for allowing me this platform to go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff so I can declutter my bathroom and get ready to start the organization process. And I will say, um, just in terms of your skincare products, you wanna make sure that you're paying close attention to their expiration dates. Um, most products have on there how long the shelf life is after you've started using them. And I'm just gonna show you just a short, ex a quick example of what I mean. So right here, if it will focus, oh, it's not focusing. Maybe I'll try another product. But you will see on the products that they have a number and an M. And that basically gives you the month or how many months this product is good for, the shelf life is. So these mostly say 12 months, some say 24 months. So once you start using that product, just pay close attention to make sure that you are, in fact, getting rid of those products <laughs> after they are expired. I should do a better job of this, but I really am one of those people that like, no, I'm not throwing it away until I run out of it with the exception of these ones that I'm going to trash today. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I will preface this by saying this video is not sponsored. I will include some Amazon links in the description box. And if you do purchase using the Amazon links, it costs you nothing extra, but it does help me and it goes back into my channel. So I appreciate you for supporting. All right. So this is not sponsored and it may seem like it because I'm just going to jump in with my facial moisturizers and there's like three and they're all from the same brand. So Olay, I have to tell you that I really love this drugstore brand of um, facial cleansers. So this one is the Hyaluronic and Peptide 24 Revitalizing Facial, facial Cleanser. Um, I really, really love Olay products. Um, I feel like as someone that struggled with adult acne, it was really hard for me to find a product that um, worked for my skin every day um, when I would have breakouts, which was for the most part every day. I felt like a lot of those um, products that were targeted for breakouts really left my skin really, really dry. Um, but when I would use the moisturizing ones, I felt like it left my skin super, super oily. And so I felt like um, that also led to the breakouts. So I love that the Olay brand has like this balance that I feel like my skin is not overly dry and it's not super oily either right now i probably look a little bit shiny because i'm under the lights so just ignore that so this one is like i said i use this one pretty much every day along with um the seven in one citrus scrub now this one is a gentle exfoliating scrub it's not harsh at all but i do like using this citrus scrub in conjunction with or any of my olay facial moisturizers i also have this detoxify and pore scrub i've only used it once because i've been using this scrub <laughs> about once or twice a week and i use this one daily um 
So the verdict is still out on this one. So I'm gonna table this one for now. These are definitely stash and I use them in conjunction with this Olay vitamin C and peptide facial moisturizer. When I, it's a hydrating moisturizer. When I tell you I have used all types of brands of skincare from high to low, drugstore to um, like prescription strength skincare products. And this is by far one of my favorite moisturizers. It's from Olay, you can get this from your drugstore. I really love this vitamin C one so much so that I made like a TikTok reel um, video from it. I just haven't posted it yet. Um, especially after I had my baby, I felt like I was getting zero sleep. <laughs> ever um and i was walking around looking like a zombie every day but i felt like this vitamin c peptide 24 in conjunction with that citrus scrub i felt like it helped to brighten my skin and it didn't make me seem like i was the walking dead so go get some of this again the links will be in the description box um so those are that. And so for my facial moisturizer using an SPF, I go in with this CeraVe um, Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen. It's normal to oily skin. If you're like me, you're probably one of those people who struggle with adult acne, who would, anytime I would wear an SPF, I don't know what it was. I just felt like it just congested my pores so much and I would get the most breakouts. I feel like with this CeraVe, I do not get breakouts. Um, it does have a matte finish. It says it moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. So I swear by this um, facial moisturizer with F SPF. Anytime you're going outside of your home, you need an SPF. It doesn't matter if you're black. This is black, you need an SPF. <laughs> and I do recommend this one. All right, so moving on to some serums. Oh, I do have one other facial moisturizer. So I will say with that CeraVe, I'm stashing. Now the Shiseido White Lucent Brighten Cleansing Foam. So I will say that a little bit of this goes a really long way. This is a product that I've had for probably about five years now. Um, and there's still product in here. And just even with how thin <laughs> this is now, this could probably probably last me another year or two. Um, I don't use it every day. I was recommended to get it by um, uh, someone that worked at Sephora. Um, but when I looked into it, this seems like it was more so aligned with people that are into like Korean skincare. I will say that this I use this when I use my cleansing brush um, to cleanse my face and a little bit goes a long way with my other ones I feel like I have to use a lot of product to really get a foam with the brush this one just one drop does it and I use it for that purpose um, when I want to use my brush especially like after wearing makeup and stuff um, this one I'm gonna trash I don't use it that frequently especially now since I use like makeup wipes so this one might work for you though it's not a horrible product but I don't use it frequently enough to buy it again all right so moving on to the next another facial um cleanser that i jumped on the wave of was the urban skin rx even tone cleansing bar and it does come with a little sponge you just wet the sponge dip it in there lather it up and use it i will say at the time in my life when i started using this particular cleanser I, my skin would be really dry post using it so I didn't really keep it up didn't buy it again it works it says it brightens and improves uneven skin tone which I feel like it did do that and I do like that it says that they are the melanin experts and me being melanated a black woman even though I'm not looking real melanated on here um, <laughs> I love that and always want to support that um, but for me like I said, I feel like it left my skin really dry. So for that reason, I'm going to have to trash it. All right. So now we're going to move into some serums. And I will say that I did get this Naturum, Naturum, and it's a niacinamide serum plus zinc. I either got this from Target or Sephora. I can't remember. And I really, really loved it. I would say stash, but for the purpose of this i'm not gonna stash it i'm gonna trash it it worked really well however i feel like i went through this in just a matter of a couple of weeks 
And so one of the, the claims for this, it says it helps improve uneven skin tone, visible visually minimize the look of pores, skin texture, and fine lines. I feel like this helped me to get a smoother texture. However, I didn't notice fine lines being smooth or that my pores had a significant difference after using this product. Um, I do like that it has vitamin E, but again, I went through this so quickly and it was to be like from Target, it was pretty pricey and to go like to be done with it in less than a month, it was a trash for me. All right, so now I'm gonna go through a brand black called Bliss that I found at Target. Now I will say I love, I love, love, love Chef's Kiss to this Bliss Glow and Hydrate. This is a niacinamide and hyaluronic acid day serum. And when I tell you that I would use this in the mornings and my skin just had this glow, I felt like it just really gave me this like hydrated glow about myself. My skin looked dewy and moisturized. And also I felt like it helped to give me a smoother texture. I got this twice, I believe from Target. And then I could not find it anymore after that. So that reminds me, I should look to see um, online where I can get this and go ahead and stock up on it. Definitely stash. Now, the next thing from Bliss that I have is this Disappearing Act Niacinamide Pore Vanish Micro Purifying Toner. With this, I've had this for a few months now, and I will say that it claims to... Um, decongest all 20,000 facial pores to remove excess oil, dirt, and dead skin cells and delivers a visibly poreless complexion in seconds. I did not notice the visibly poreless complexion, but I guess it is good to remove excess oil, dirt, and dead skin cells. Um, I'm the type of person, if I don't see like instant results after the first few days of use, I kind of push it to the back of my cabinet and forget about it, which is what happened with this one. I feel like I should probably table it and give it another try before I stash or trash. So if you're interested in me using this and updating you guys later, let me know down in the comments. And I will say the same thing for this Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum. So this one is a toner from the same brand, but it also has the um, serum in it as well. Um, it has BHA, which is the salicylic acid, which clears pores, which hazel tones, niacinamide minimizes pores, and the zinc controls oil, psycho combs. And so I probably should start back using this. Again, excuse me, at the time that I was using it, I don't think I noticed immediate results, so it got pushed to the back. So again, this is gonna be something that I table, um, and I'll come back to that. So, I did go in with this serum. It's from a brand called Earth to Skin, and this is the Honey um, line of it. So when I first saw this, I think it was in Walmart. Um, I got it, and it was their greens version of it. Absolutely loved it. I felt like it helped to get rid of like some of the redness that I was having in my skin, helped kind of calm everything down, tone everything out. I loved it. I bought it like three times. After that, I couldn't find it anymore. Since then, I've noticed two other lines from that brand, the Honey, and it was one other one that I tried, and I, two out of 10 would not recommend. Um, the Honey one, I feel like it leaves a sticky sort of residue on my skin, which I don't like. Bring back the greens. That's the one I want, if that's the name of it. <laughs> but this one right here is gonna have to go in the trash. I don't wanna feel like some, animal or whatever is going to come eat me because I have honey sticky stuff on my skin. So that one's going to go in the trash. So another one that I got, this was in my Sephora birthday um, kit. And this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, which I think is like a moisturizer. And it was coupled with the Tatcha Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser. I love this cleanser. Nine out of 10 recommend get this one size because it works really good. It really gets 
foamy, which I don't know why I love that, but it gets foamy and I feel like it's really doing its job with cleansing. Um, this moisturizer, I'm going to have to trash. I know that a lot of people I've seen on social media really love this Tatcha brand, uh, this dewy skin cream. However, when I use this, my skin, like I just jumped into a pool of oil and it's just like I'm oozing oil, like super oily, super shiny and... It's just not a good look for me. For some people it works, did not work for me. So for that, I'm gonna have to try it. All right, so next I'm gonna jump into this Mario Baduski facial spray. This one has the aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I have like all of the ones that they have. I think there's like the rose, and there's like the lavender, and like a citrus one. And I use these whenever I just feel like my skin needs like a little pick me up, a little spray, just. I also use this spray after doing my makeup to set it if I don't have like a, I typically use like, I think it's like the make it last spray. Um, or like a setting spray. You can use these to set it. I also use this when I'm not wearing makeup I'm um, just wanting to go out and have my face just feel like moisturized and hydrated. Use the spray. I'm going to stash it. Um, and let's go ahead and just start wrapping up. I have a couple more things. So this is my holy grail. I do not leave the house without putting on Aquaphor on my lips. I was one of those kids that was like super self-conscious of my lips. Um, because I had really full lips and back then in middle school especially you got picked on for having big lips people would say I had soup coolers and just all kinds of things and so I did not put anything on my lips back then because I was so self-conscious and I didn't want to draw attention to it now I embrace the lips honey embrace them embrace <laughs> So I do not leave the house without this healing ointment, y'all. It keeps my lips moisturized. I have this in my medicine cabinet and my purse and the diaper bag and my, my son's bathroom. This is like, I even wear this under like lipstick and lip gloss. Definitely recommend this for your lips. And it, it says it's for dry, cracked, or irritated skin. I definitely love this over like lip balm and chapstick and stuff like that get this you you won't regret it another thing which was an amazon find for me is this anaya urai turmeric vitamin c clay mask if you're like me you probably have used the aztec um healing clay mask which at times can be a bit especially if you use apple cider vinegar mixed with it it can be a bit um intense and it's like that pulsating and it feels like your skin is being pulled as it's drawing out the impurities this one is such a more lighter feel um, on your skin. It smells really good. I love turmeric. The texture is good. And I also like that it comes with an applicator for you to put it on. I feel like when I use this, my skin is really brightened. It um, has more clarity to it. And I feel like my pores aren't as congested using this one. I'll have it linked below. Definitely get this. I'm stashing it. Section. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up with Sunday Riley. Oh, I have these Ordinary um, brand. These were really popular on social media as well. Um, some of their products I'm, I like, some not so much. One that I am going to stash and keep and buy again is the Rose Hip Seed Oil. I love to use this at night um, just to kind of give my skin um, some moisture and it works really well. This is the retinol and squalene. I feel like when I use this, I don't notice much, if anything at all. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to trash. Sorry. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with Sunday Riley, which is one of my favorite skincare brands. You can find Sunday Riley at your local Sephora and online. I will um, also have the links Below. I will say as someone that struggled with adult acne, I was really drawn to Sunday Riley from the reviews. And one of the things that I used to look at as like the miracle worker was this UFO, which is the ultra clarifying face oil for oily to acne prone skin. And it says it's for the management and prevention of acne and blackheads. 
This 1.5% salicylic acid medicated dry oil clears congested pores. And I like that it was a dry oil. It was green. I would like get some drops. And every time I would use this on my breakouts by morning, my breakout was 50 to 70% um, smaller. Like it really reduced the amount of breakouts that I had and also helped to calm like the redness that I got and irritation from the breakouts. So I love this. And this was the toner that came with that in that same line. It's called Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. Instantly transforms from a cooling gel to a water toner as it clarifies, removes oil, and visibly tightens pores for a clear matte skin. These two products were my holy grail when I was dealing with acne. Now that I don't have breakouts like that, I love this Sunday Riley set, which is now like my holy grail. And so I'll just go over a couple of the products in here that are like amazing. And I probably will do a separate review just on this kit altogether because it really is a game changer. But the two items that I'm going to spotlight are this Luna Sleeping Night Oil is blue. 20 out of 20, 100 out of 100, a million out of a million recommend get this oil. My husband doesn't know this, <laughs> that this is what I use. But the nights that I use this, which I use this at least like three to four times a week. The nights that I use it, every time I wake up in the morning, he comes in the bathroom and he sees me and he's like, oh, your skin looks good today. And I'm like, thanks, boo. And so he doesn't know that this is what I'm using. So if you want that glow that thing that brings it all together it has a retinol in it it uh, reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the visible signs of premature aging fine lines uneven texture dark spots and all of that get this oil it will change the game for sure and so also with that i remember going through sephora with um, my one of my friends and someone that worked in Sephora gave us a sample of this. We tried it and was like, oh my gosh, this stuff works so good. Good jeans. This is a game changer. It says it has um, lactic acid, exfoliates dull, pore clogging dead skin cells to instantly clarify and reveal smoother, clearer looking skin. And I will say that it does not disappoint. It holds up to the name. You don't need a lot this along with this holy grail again if you guys want a full thorough review on this entire sunday rally kit let me know down in the comments but i did want to come on here to kind of go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff let y'all know what to get what not to get what to spend your coins on and what to save your coins on what to trash and what to stash i hope that you enjoyed it if you want to see more videos like this in the future from me whether it's like with makeup or hair products please let me know again thank you for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye